Grade 6 math number 10.9a, coordinate plane and x or y axis. This is a coordinate plane. It's actually two number lines that are crossing each other and they meet at zero in the very center. It's like a big plus sign, isn't it? All right, a coordinate plane is a plane that's made by a horizontal number line called the x-axis. That's the horizontal one. That means it's like the horizon. It's going straight across. And it intersects, crosses, a vertical number line called the y-axis. Okay? The axis, that's plural for axis, intersect and meet at zero, right here in the center, where both number lines intersect. The point where they meet is called the origin. See? The x-axis is also called the domain, and the y-axis is also called the codomain. All right? So here's a close-up. You can see that this is the y one. Okay, I'll put it down here also. And this is x, okay? So x is going across horizontal, and y is going straight up and down. The way I remember, like to remember it is why go to the sky, see? It's like, because y is going straight up towards the sky. All right, so the origin is the point where both number lines cross. They intersect right here. It kind of looks like a little face, doesn't it? But it's zero comma zero in parentheses, and it's called the origin, all right? An ordered pair is a set of numbers like three and two that can be used to locate a point on a coordinate plane. So, this would be the number on the x-coordinate. It is the x-coordinate, and it would be on the x-axis. And this is the y-coordinate, and it's on the y-axis. So this is x, and this is y, all right? Each number line has positive and negative numbers on it with a zero in the center. Up and to the right... If you go straight up here and to the right, those are positive numbers. And if you go down and to the left of the zero point, those are negative numbers. The x-coordinate on the x-axis tells us the distance to move left or right from zero, from the origin. And the y-coordinate on the y-axis tells us the distance to move up or down from zero on the origin. See? So if we have a number like 3, 2, it tells us to go to x3, which is right here, and to y, number 2, and that would be right here. See? And they would meet right there. Isn't that something? It's almost like the grid of city streets. Okay? That's the best explanation I've got for it. Imagine that someone said to you, Can you meet me on Main Street? And you said, well, Main Street is 20 miles long. Where? And they said, oh, I'm sorry, on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. And you said, oh, okay, I know exactly where that is. And then they were right there at the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. By giving two locations like that, Main Street and First Avenue, that's giving an ordered pair. That's telling you an X and a Y coordinate so that they can find you. If you just said, meet me at x-coordinate, they'd say, well, if you want me to meet, meet you at the 3 x-coordinate, it could be anywhere along here, because you're not telling me what crosses it, see? It could be any number along this 3 going straight up and down, and the minute they tell you the y-coordinate, the one that crosses it, you say, oh, I know where that's at, okay? So that's how the ordered pairs work, okay? It's like a city street. And you can see my grade five math video, number 9.2, and that is gonna explain all of this again, maybe a little easier, because it's grade five, if that's what you want. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna do 10.9b, and I'm gonna continue talking about this, and I'm gonna show you how to actually plot points on the coordinate grid, okay? Coordinate plane. See you there, bye.